Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we're bringing it inside because this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. You guys have probably seen my cheap Biera uh, queso style tacos. Biera. That one too. This time we're going to try to do the authentic version. Okay. Top three things. One, however I pronounce it, no matter what ingredient list I have, is going to be wrong. So we're going to show you the ingredients throughout the process because we all know that I cannot pronounce the English language, much less any other language. That's one. Two, as much information I've gathered, I have spent hours trying to find out what recipe is better than the other one. As far as I can tell, not one recipe looks the same as another one. So when somebody says, oh, that's not authentic, that's not how we do it, I can't find two recipes that are alike. I kind of picked and chose which versions I liked, and we're going to incorporate those in today. And third, I decided to use beef short ribs bone in, okay? That might not be traditional, but after looking at all the meats, especially with the lamb or the goat, mutton, or um, chuck roast, anything like that, this is something that we don't make often. So I thought, what better way to try it than try it with some beef short ribs packed with flavor. You guys can see the fat. The fat is king when you're talking about this type of meat. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. First things first, we got a couple videos coming up. This is about four pounds of beef short ribs. Just to give you an idea. I'm gonna save two of them because we're gonna use fresh grind and make our own uh, pub style burgers. We use the beef tenderloin trimmings, a ribeye, and now we got the short rib. That's the three that I wanted. So that's what we're doing, all right? All righty, first things first. You guys can see I've got cilantro, I've got a little onion, uh, tomato, a little bit of stewed tomatoes. We're going to go over the ingredients list a little bit later. So let's get out of the way. The beef short rib, okay? The only thing I'm going to do is salt it. We're not going to pepper it at this time. I'm not trying to kill it with salt, but I do want a heavy coating of salt. It's very important for the browning. Make sure you guys salt all sides. All right, so after we're done salting, let's come over here. We got our Dutch oven preheated. I got my oven on 350, and I got about four cups of beef stock. It's very hot. You guys can see it simmering. Might turn it down here. This is what we're going to rehydrate the dried peppers in. Okay. Just a slight coating of avocado oil. I do think this next step is key. You guys do know that I firmly believe in browning the meat, so this is going to be no different. Two batches. All sides. All right, so while our meat's browning, let's go and start on these peppers. You can give it a try. Go ahead. Guajillo. Okay. And? Pasilla okay. Negro. That's what we're going with. <laughs> Absolutely no disrespect to the culture or the cuisine. I just can't pronounce it. Neither one of us took Spanish in high school. We both took French. I barely passed English. I am going ahead and take the seeds out. Some people do it differently, but this is what I'm doing. So you just cut the tops off. And while we were at the grocery store, after we picked these out, we did notice that both of these peppers were on the mild scale. I have no clue how hot they are. So we're gonna add a little bit of heat later. Give you guys an idea. I think it's more about flavor and consistency with these things. Smell good? Let me smell. I swear it smells like something that's familiar. It's, um, yeah. Licorice? I was, or, I, I was gonna say licorice. I don't think licorice. No, so. what is it? Um, it's like plum. No, something's on the tip of my tongue. I man. know, smells, me too. It does smell very familiar. Whatever it smells like is not what it tastes like. I can tell you that. What is it? It's not a smoky flavor. It's a raisin. Raisin. Yes, raisin. raisin. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm raisin. just telling you. Exactly. I'm sure it does not taste like a raisin. That's exactly what it smells like. You smell that? See that oh, browning? Yeah. Okay. 
See that right there? That's what we want. That's an incredible crust right there, okay? Now that I got the peppers de-seeded, my version, I'm gonna go right into the stock. We got about four cups of stock that's just barely on a simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Just submerge them, let it rehydrate. It's gonna drink all that beef stock and then we're gonna be able to blend it in a minute. All right guys, so we set our timer for 15 minutes for our peppers to dehydrate. As you can see, there's about three minutes left to give you an idea. This was six large pieces. So you can see all the coloring we got. So now we're gonna take it out. Keep that pan right there. Now we're looking for more color, more depth of flavor, okay? Onions for about two to three minutes. This is one large onion. All right guys, so hopefully you can see I have not touched the onions. I wanted to get as much deep color as possible. So now I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. I feel like this dish itself is about the building block of flavor. Uh, I just cannot believe I haven't made it before, but by looking at all the recipes and stuff like that, it's definitely something that's one, rich in tradition, but two, the flavors build within. So that's why I'm excited about it. All right, let's see what we got here. See that caramelization on the bottom? You guys are new to cooking, that's what you want. That's caramelized sugar, fawn. That's exactly what you want. You see the color on the onions? All right, so here we go. My twist on how we're gonna make it. You ready? I'm gonna add a good dollop of garlic. Did you say a tablespoon? I'd probably say maybe, that's probably two tablespoons. I got the stewed Mexican recipe. This is guys, you guys are seeing what I'm using. Okay. I'm using about a quarter, uh, three quarters of a can. Just because I used a quarter of it earlier for something else. One pepper, two pepper, and just a little bit of sauce. And that is glaze and adobo. It's super smoky. It's, you're talking about a deep flavor is that as well. And it's got the heat of the jalapeno, okay? Here I've got a uh, rough chopped three. These were actually pretty large Roma tomatoes. We'll put those in there. And I've got about, I don't know, maybe a half cup of just rough chopped cilantro. I haven't seen many videos where the cilantro goes in, but honestly, I'm a cilantro fan. I love cilantro, so I said, why not? Okay, here we go. Cumin. Eyeball it, about a tablespoon. I've never had this before. Coriander, I don't know how I've missed it in my life. So we're gonna try it out today. This seemed to be very popular. This is supposed to be about two to three tablespoons, although I wasn't a big fan of it, so I'm gonna give it that much. Mm. Oh, here, let me get in here. Not every recipe had this, but I do feel like it adds a ton of flavor and especially earthly flavor. So I'm gonna put one bay leaf in. Okay. So that's what we got going on right now. You see how all those bits and stuff came off the bottom? That's what we're looking for right there. Okay. So I'm gonna give this about I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to cook down. All right, so this process only took about five minutes instead of 10 minutes, but this is the consistency I'm looking for. See how rich this is? It's reduced down some, the, the sauce is married together. I'm gonna find the bay leaf, take it out. We're gonna keep cooking with that a little bit later. Okay, all right, so here we go. Get yourself a blender. Anytime you add hot liquid to a blender, you've got to allow space for expansion. Can't say that enough. Now we're gonna take all this sauce or all these ingredients and make a sauce. Reach in here, grab all these peppers right inside. I'm 
I'm gonna take about two cups of that liquid. That should be pretty good. All right, now that it's blended, some people recommend straining it. I'm gonna taste it first because I never got to this step before. I'm gonna see if you can taste the uh, the skins of the tomato or the skins of the um, uh, what do you call it? The, the peppers. Plus, you're also tasting at this time for seasonings: spice, salt, pepper. Got a little kick. Got a little kick. Ooh, he's got a little kick. Ooh. Got a little kick. <laughs> got a little kick. All right. So here we go. We're going to add our beef back to here. Try to get a uniform layer. Any and all that fat and juice left over. We're going to pour that mixture right over top of it. Now you're talking about making a bath for beef. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. And then instead of throwing the rest of that sauce out, I'm gonna take some of this beef stock. Just like that. Okay, quick little mix. Now the waiting game begins. Oh yeah. Now that your beef is submerged, remember your oven's on 350, grab that bay leaf, put it back inside, and we're shooting for about three to maybe three and a half hours. I'm gonna check it about every hour mark, just to check it. I do want the lid on, because you wanna save as much sauce as possible. Okay. Thanks, piping hot. All right guys, so I just checked it about the two and a half hour mark. Just pulled it out of the oven. Let's see what we got here. See those oils right there? That's what so many people ask about when they're doing their uh, queso style tacos. They dip it in that oil for that fry method. Ooh, things pulling apart. I think it passes the the tender test. Man, mm, that thing's hot. That smells good. Good. <laughs> I love the complexity of the flavor, man. That's deep. Not bad for an East Tennessee country boy making beer ya. Golly, man, those beef short ribs. First time I've ever had them. I can see why people like it. Hey, I'm just curious if you guys have seen this video, besides your obvious, whether it be tacos, road tacos, burritos, would you serve this over rice? What's another traditional way that people would eat this besides just with tortillas? Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down, shred this inside the juice overnight, because one day this week, that's right, Briere style tacos, queso style, all that fat, all that juice. Mm. Beeria. That one too. That's right after this one. Gosh, good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Hey, try something different. You never know. It might turn out as good as this.